Barrier Reef, itself one of the natural beauties of the world. And beneath the warm, clear waters is beauty of another kind, fish in exotic colours and mile upon mile of variegated coral. It's the coral that Bill Wallace is seeking. He's been diving for it for 13 years, travelling up to 25 miles from his home on Dent Island to collect it. He averages 100 pieces each time he goes out, and then he speeds back home with it because coral is his livelihood. Bill Wallace has lived for 10 years on Dent Island, though he first saw coral 30 years ago when he was in the United States Navy. The natural colouring in the coral comes from living animals, which must be removed by boiling. Bill's adapted a prawn cooking unit to meet his requirements. After 20 minutes, the coral will be taken out and dried. It's here that Bill's wife takes over. The dried coral is now a basic white skeleton and it must be coloured by hand to bring it back to its former beauty. Artists' oils are used, deftly applied with a brush. It takes about half an hour to colour an average sized piece. Coral like this is peculiar to the barrier reef. Some is like hibiscus, some like lily of the valley, other pieces are like large staghorns. Here in ultra close photography you can see how the colour is applied. Finished coral is set in different formations to be exported all over Australia as well as to the United States, the Argentine, Mexico and many other countries. And though coral looks delicate, it is like China in its ability to resist damage. Each exhibit is wrapped separately, ready for export. The beauty of the barrier reef exported to many lands. Artistic wonders from below the seas go overseas as a result of the unique industry of a couple who live on Dent Island. Thank <laughs> you.